Nazi period, Allinson lace mounted on carved ivory sticks. Absolutely perfect condition. What am I bid for this veritable treasure? Twelve shillings. Fifteen. Eighty. Young man. How much, madam? I have no intention of bidding. Why should I? It's my own fan. Why, well, here's her name on it. Margaret. I shall be delighted to have it back again. It's been stored at Edwards for years while I've been traveling. That's right, you know, there was a direct hit on Edwards. Oh, come on with it. We haven't got all day. Madam, can you furnish any proof of ownership? Have you got a bill for this fan? Of course not. It was a gift. Well, you'll find me always cheerful and willing to oblige. I'll put the fan aside for a day. If you can bring in someone who knows you and knows that it's yours, you can have it with my blessing. Well, if it hadn't been for the fan, I wouldn't have dreamed of looking you up. But those idiots say that I can't have it unless I bring in someone who knows me and knows about the fan. What idiots? Bring in where? What fan? My Lady Windermere's fan. How do you know that name? That's one name you remember, isn't it, Robert? Because you loved her. I think you've said enough. And assumed entirely too much. You wear them every day, don't you? She was so much like a primrose herself. So fresh, so exquisite, so innocent. Who would have thought that you and I would survive her and him? I saw their graves. There were primroses on her. Please. You see, I loved her too. Good evening, Lady Windermere. I am Mrs. Erlin. It was so charming of you to invite me. You must have known how, how delighted I'd be to come and meet you on your birthday. Good evening, Mrs. Erlin. Your house is enchanting. And your fan, what a lovely thing. A birthday present? Yes. From my husband. What exquisite taste your husband has. I congratulate you, Lord Windermere. Arthur, may I have this dance with your wife, or are all her dances reserved for you? I should be delighted, Lord Darlington. I thought I knew Arthur well, but apparently I don't. It's very shrewd of him to invite her. Nothing looks so much like innocence as an indiscretion. I invited Mrs. Early. You did? Why? I don't know. I asked because I was hurt and angry. I wanted to show him. I wanted to show them all. I was going to make an example of her. I was going to insult her. Go back to your husband. Don't throw away his love. The day may come when you will starve for love. You go back to my husband. He's yours. I must say, after seeing you tonight, I understand him only too well. You're quite irresistible, Mrs. Erlin. Please go back home. I shall stay here with the man who has offered me his life. Now, how did we come to talk about all this? Uh, the fan. You know, the fan you found at the auction. Thank you.